For more information, check out my blog, theguy.com. Follow me! Hey guys, today's video is inspired by the beautiful Ariana Grande. I absolutely love her and when I saw her music video for Focus, I was like, oh my god, this makeup look is gorgeous. I need to recreate it. This is one of those looks that is flattering for everyone. It's still neutral and wearable and it really plays up your features. So if you guys want to know how I got this Ariana Grande focus music video makeup look, then please keep watching. Oh, and there are two looks in the video. One has a glossy lip and one has a matte lip. I'm doing the matte lip version after this awkward posing. So as always, I started off by priming and moisturizing my skin with my Farsali Rose Gold Elixir to give my skin a really beautiful dewy glow. Now I'm just gonna go through and color correct the dark marks on my face with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the orange corrector and blend that out with my damp beauty blender. For my foundation today, I'm using the these two Maybelline ones. If you guys would like a full color correcting routine with the foundation and everything, I'll have it linked in the description box below. But I'm just mixing the matte and poreless with the dewy and smooth to get a really beautiful satin finish. And I'm, I like to apply this with a foundation brush first, kind of all over my face, and then I blend this out with my damp beauty blender. I get a lot of questions whether I like the black beauty blender or the pink one. Hands down, the black one is the best. It's super, super, super easy to work with. It's also a lot softer than the pink one, so I feel like it makes blending a lot easier. Now I'm just gonna go through and conceal and highlight my under eye with my Maybelline... I, I can never remember the name of this concealer, but I'm just going to highlight the centers of my face and blend this out with my damp beauty blender. As always, all product themes and details will be in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out when you get a chance. When I blend out the under eye, I'm taking whatever concealer left over on my damp beauty blender and just evening out the skin tone on my lid. Now I'm just going to go through and set that under eye with this NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder. This is a powder foundation and I'm using the color Natural. I love this for setting my under eye lately. I recently got this and I have been obsessed with it. It has a really beautiful satin finish so it really gives that under eye a really healthy looking glow without looking shiny or anything like that. Now I'm just going to go through and bronze my skin just a little bit. Ariana always looks very youthful and not as structured so that's why I'm skipping the contouring and just adding some bronzer. I mean Ariana is very young anyways. Now for my blush I'm using this peachy colored one from Colourpop. This is a matte blush. I'm keeping it pretty matte on the skin because she seems pretty matte and I'm just blending that onto my cheeks and then I'm applying a very 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 subtle highlight and this one is by Maybelline and it is in the color Nude. As you can see this is not a strong highlight, it's just very natural, very very light. So this is going on all the high points of my face. Now I'm just going to go through and finish up my brows. For my lids today, I'm using this eyeshadow from NYX and this is in the color Suede and I am buffing this all over my crease. This is a really beautiful, slightly mauve color. Um, it's not something that's too strong or anything like that. I just wanted a transition color in the crease. Then for my inner corner, I'm taking this eyeshadow from ColourPop, which is called Truth, just to add a highlight. Ariana had a very old school kind of 90s makeup look going on with the shades that she was using. She even had like this shimmery, frosty lip going on in one of her looks, but I decided to go for the matte look. Now for the entire lid, I'm taking the eyeshadow Boy Band from ColourPop, and this is just going to be our base color. I'm going to be going over top of this a little later on, but I really wanted the next color to pop and really show through. Now she was wearing like this brownie, warm, peachy eyeshadow look, which is what I'm going for. But of course, I am a deeper skin tone than Ariana is, so it's going to look different on me than it does on her, and we don't look alike at all, so 
just keep in mind whenever you're doing an inspired look it's always going to look a little different on you than it does on the person it's inspired by but makeup is awesome and everyone is beautiful in their own way then I'm gonna grab this frosty eyeshadow by ColourPop called Amaze. I didn't even realize that I grabbed all ColourPop shadows for this look. Sorry guys, they're super inexpensive though and they are amazing quality if you guys wanna check them out. But this is a really frosty kind of glittery eyeshadow which is what she was wearing and I'm taking it pretty high up into the crease as well and I'm just using my fingers to apply this because I feel like I get the best color that I want with my fingers. Then I'm taking this eyeliner from NYX, which is just in the color black, and I am tight lining my eyes. And I'm applying a lot of this onto my tight line so that it can kind of transfer onto my lower waterline. She didn't really have much going on on her lower lash line. Um, it wasn't very strong or anything like that. She had a very top heavy lid. Now I'm gonna do Ariana's signature eyeliner cat eye look. She has a very strong, intense, swoopy wing, so I'm just plotting it out with the eyeliner by picking it up on my brush first. And then I'm going to grab a pen liquid liner and fill that in just to deepen it up, darken it up, fix up the shape, and make it absolutely perfect. And the one that I'm using is by Pixie. So you want to focus on this wing. You really want to have it angling upwards. Hers never has a long cat eye. It really goes straight towards her brow. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara and as you can see that eyeliner transferred onto my lower waterline which is exactly what I wanted. For my mascara today I'm using the Maybelline Push Up Drama Mascara. I have a love-hate relationship with this mascara. If you do not like clumpy tarantula lashes you are going to hate this mascara but if you like really long thick borderline tarantula lashes this mascara is awesome i'm also just touching up that lower waterline just a little bit just to make it a little bit more even just to grab the places that maybe missed a little bit of transfer i'm not applying any mascara onto my lower lash line because she did not have any now i'm just priming and moisturizing my lips with my stila lush lips water plumping primer and for my lips today i'm using a mixture of kat von d everlasting liquid lipstick in the color bow and arrow and, and I am putting Noble by Kat Von D right in the center of the lip. Ariana's lips were heavily overlined like you couldn't see her cupid's bow in the screenshot that I took from her video so that's exactly what I'm doing. You totally don't have to do this. You could just line your lips how you normally line your lips or you can overline whatever you feel happy and whatever you feel comfortable with. So I'm just overlining quite a bit and then adding that lighter noble color right in the center. I was about to say cobble. Like what is a cobble? <laughs> Anyways, once I'm done with the lips, the entire look is done. If you wanted to go for the glossy lip, you could just add a peachy or clear gloss right on top of this matte lip and it would look exactly like the glossy lip that she was wearing in the video. Like I said, she had a matte and a glossy lip going on and I decided to go for the matte one because I love matte lips. So here is the entire look done with my awkward posing. I absolutely loved her makeup in the video. I thought it was so beautiful and so flattering. I love Ariana Grande and I love all of her makeup looks because I feel like they're very youthful. I mean, she is very young anyways, but they're very youthful and they're flattering for everyone. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you try it out. Don't forget to give me a great big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you'd like to see some more videos from me. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye! I hate posing.